Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we, are, we must be happy. We must rejoice before the Lord because Jesus Christ is with us. Because God is said that he who joins with the Lord is one spirit with him. He who joins to the Lord is one spirit with him. I believe that when you hear this word of God, you are joining with Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is ready to help you to understand the word of God. Because it's ready to open your understanding to understand the word of God. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you all in this channel. All those people who are open and share this word and follow us in this channel. May God bless you in YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, we must be happy because Jesus Christ is with us. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, I praise your name. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for this day. Father, I bless your name. I thank you, Jesus Christ, for this day opportunity that we're going to be given today to share this word of God and to receive this message that comes from you, Jesus Christ. This is the precious message that you have been delivered to us, Lord Jesus Christ, we are ready. I believe that you are children that are gathered together today to receive this message that comes from you, Jesus Christ. May you protect them and guide them and open their understanding to understand this word of God that comes from you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 We have the message that comes from Jesus Christ. This message says that the secret in prayer. We have to know the secret in prayer. Secret means things which are not ready, revealed, not yet open to you. So you have to know these things. Sometimes you may pray, you may pray in normal things. But you have to understand, you have to know secret in prayer. Hallelujah. Before I proceed, I want to share with you this word, this message. That is a precious message that Jesus has been given to today. And I want to share with this message because Jesus Christ has been revealed this message. And I want to share with you. And everyone should understand this secret in prayer. Hallelujah. But before I proceed, I want to read the Bible that comes from the books of Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. The word of God says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but hears the prayer of righteous. God is far from the wicked, and hears the prayer of righteous. We know that God has got the principle, and when you present you are said before the Lord to pray. Make sure that there are things you have to understand. There are things you have to understand. There are so many things, but what the things that God has been revealed in by the power of our spirit, I want to share with you. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. God loves you. Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for us. And why God he gave us the Holy Spirit. That's the promise from the Father. And He gave us the Holy Spirit to help us to understand this word of God. And these things which are sacred are revealed by the Holy Spirit. And everyone to understand this word of God. We must pray. But God has got the principle. Prayer is a private conversation with God. And when you pray, Make sure that you establish a relationship with God. To establish the relationship with God, you must repent your sin when you present yourself before, before the Lord. Because we know that God is holy. If God is holy, anybody who presents himself before the Lord must repent, must be pure in the heart. And the, the, the word of God says that in the books of Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, the word of God says that blessed are the pure in the heart. For they shall see God. You have to repent in order to, to be clean in your heart. That's why the blood of Jesus Christ must wash away your iniquity and shall be white as snow. But with that principle, you have to understand. You must, if God is saying that, if my people who call me by my name in the books of 
Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Jesus said to us that if my people who call me by my name will arm themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive them and heal their rent. If you arm yourself for the Lord, you must repent because as you arm, you must repent your sin because you know that what you have done, which is evil, because God he knows, he knows all those people, he knows you. Because there is no creature who is hidden before the Lord, because every creature is open and naked before the Lord. So you cannot hide yourself for the Lord, because God he knows you in and out. Hallelujah. And when you humble yourself before the Lord, means you have to repent. In order to establish a relationship with God, you have to repent your sin. And you have to pray. So, prayer, you may pray the prayer of repentance to establish a relationship with God. And seek the Lord. When you seek the Lord, you must put effort to seek the Lord. To seek the Lord means you have to believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ. You have to know that when you repent, you repent. You repent your sin. You believe in Jesus because Jesus is sacrificed the life for you. You are going to surrender yourself before the Lord. And you humble yourself before the Lord because you have to repent your sin. There is a prayer of repentance, the prayer of thanks to the Lord. You have to thank the Lord in everything, give thanks that the will of God in Christ Jesus. You have to thank the Lord. At every particular time, that he, when you just um, you use this time to, put, to pray before the Lord, you have to know the principle of God. And other things, you have to seek the Lord. And God is said that I love those who love me. And those who seek me, then them to me, they will find me. To seek them them to me means you have to take the time and so you must be true and faithful. You must be true and faithful and seek the Lord. Meanwhile, you, are, you have to know these things that when you seek the Lord, you know that you know God, you know the principle of God. You know how to seek the Lord, how to pray for the Lord, and to read the word and to keep his word. And you have to keep his word because God, Jesus is saying to us that anyone loves me, he'll keep my word. And my father loves him. And we will come and make it all with him. We know that Jesus Christ is the first life for us. And we have to repent. We have to pray before the Lord. And when you, you pray and seek the face of the Lord, and you have to turn back from the Lord, uh, from wicked ways. Turn back from wicked ways. And turn from the wicked ways. To turn from the wicked ways, he said, it's only you. It's a time that you have to search out. You have to search out and examine yourself. You have to search out and examine yourself and turn back to the Lord. As you search out, you will understand that what he thinks of that is evil. And the Holy Spirit, he just testifies with the Spirit that what you are doing is negative things. It's evil. So you have to understand this. And another thing that the Lord has been given to die. And you have to know that in the books of Psalm chapter 34, verse 15, God is saying to us that the eyes of the Lord is on the righteous. The eyes of the Lord is on the righteous. And his ear is attentive to their cry. And his ear is attentive to their cry. God knows what you wish, what you need. What you request to the Lord. He knows. Before you pray, He knows. But if you are let us, you are the let us, God is ready to hear what you pray. He just look at you. He just hear what you pray and going to answer you. Hallelujah. It's a time that God, when you pray, make sure that you have to you, you have to understand the principle of God. And God is worried. And God He you know and have given them promise 
There is a promise. And when you present your life before the Lord and pray, you must understand this. You have to know this. The promise. The promise that is the word of God. You know the promise and you pray before the Lord. And you have to use the scriptures. There are scriptures and the word of testimony. And you just pray. Because God, you were going to hear their prayer. It just look and that in order for God to acknowledge your prayer. God is there to acknowledge your prayer if you understand your promise. The promise of God, that's what He promised you through the Bible. You have this word, and this word is the evidence that you have to use this word of God. And when you pray, you have to use this word. I'm going to read it through the Bible in the books of Exodus. In the books of Exodus, chapter 23. Chapter 2, verse 23 up to 25. The word of God says, Now it happened in the process of time that the kings of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage. And they carried out and they cried came to, to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham with Isaac, with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel and God acknowledged them. I want to reveal all this word by the power of God's Spirit that Lord Jesus has revealed to me. And this is a secret that God has revealed to me. Everyone should understand this. Because only the children of Israel and the word of God has said to us that it happened in the process of time. It happened in the process of time. That the kingdom of Egypt died. And then the children of Israel groaned because of their bondage. And then they start to cry out. They cried because of the bondage. And this cry came out to God. And God listened. And God remembered his covenant. And God, when the, this cry, mean the prayer, came to God, came up to God, and the, the Bible said, came up to God. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel. After remembering, after remembering his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and what God says, and God looked upon the children of Israel, and God acknowledged them. So he said, "He said things that you have to know and you have to understand this." But you know, God is also can look upon you. God can look upon you. But how can you go, how can I acknowledge your prayer? Because there is a promise that you have to pray, you have to know that there is a promise. And when you present us before the Lord and just pray, there is a promise that God He promised you. And God remembered that promise. Because this covenant, there is a promise in this covenant. That's why the children of Israel groaned and cried. And this cry came up to God. And God remembered. What God remember? He remember because there is a covenant and there is a promise. And when you present yourself before the Lord and just pray and remember that God he look upon you. And that in order to acknowledge your prayer, you must understand there is a promise that you do not pray without promise. The promise that the word of God, that there is a word of testimony. Hallelujah. 